Hi, I'm Satish Anapatula. Uh, I'm with uh, Power and Light within facilities at UVA. Uh, the Power and Light group is uh, primarily responsible for uh, power distribution, exterior lighting, and uh, rooftop solar. Uh, we at UVA have three different types of solars. Um, one is the, the main is the UVA owned rooftop solar. And then the second is the PPA, a power purchase agreement. We agree to buy all the power at two of the offsite solar facilities. Each is about 120 acres. Um, and then the third is the solar arrays, which we are on. Uh, the roof of Ridney Hall used to be Ruffner Hall. Uh, we agreed to lease uh, this roof to Dominion Energy for 15 years. All of the electricity that is produced on this side goes back to Dominion, uh, but you know we get payment for leasing the roof. The four buildings that we have are owned and operated by UVA. Um, those are Skipwith Hall, Alderman Substation, Clemens Library, and IV Stacks. Um, all these you know, combine about 327 kW. Um, and then the solar lease facility, um, the bookstore facility is about 179 kW, and then this Ridney Hall is about 275 kW. Um, all of these systems have something in common, that is the module. Um, the solar module is either a combination of 60 or 72 cell, and each cell is uh, made up of, of three different materials, and primarily they're all silicon based. So a P-type and N-type silicon materials, a N-type has an extra electron, and then a P-type has a hole to accept the electron. When sunlight excites uh, the N-type material, the electron jumps from that material over to the P-type material, having you know, a transfer of electron, movement of electron. Movement of electron is uh, electricity. So that generated electricity, and when you put together 60 or 72 cells, you get the voltage, a usable voltage that you need, and then that is DC, direct current, and we take that uh, to AC with the inverter, and then from there, you know, we bump up the voltage to put it on the grid. And William is going to go over you know, the system more in detail. Hi, my name is William Evans, and I'm with UVA Facilities Management, Power and Light, and we're on the roof of Ridley Hall. Uh, you can see we have uh, over 960 solar panels up here, uh, and each panel is made up of uh, one, uh, 60 cells, and each cell has about one volt of voltage uh, under full sun. Uh, and so you can think of like a nine volt battery. Uh, if you put together nine cells, you have about that much voltage. Uh, and so each panel has 60 cells, so you put those together and you wind up with about 40 volts then you put uh, each panel end to end with the next panel, and by the time you get 10 or 15 together, you get up to about 600 volts. Uh, this is all DC power, uh, so it's direct current like a battery, which is not what we use in our homes. We use alternating current, so we have to take the DC current to an inverter, and then that inverter converts it to alternating current, which we can use in our homes. Uh, here at Ridley Hall, this is owned by Dominion Energy, the power company, and so it actually goes down to a transformer on the ground level, which we'll see later, and then up onto the power lines and then around to Charlottesville. Uh, the way these modules make power is you have packets of energy coming from the sun called photons. Uh, when the photon enters the solar module, it enters the silicon crystalline structure and energizes an electron uh, enough so that it breaks free. Uh, Sadiq was talking about the P-type and N-type material in the, in the module which actually creates uh, a standing electric field. When the electron is knocked loose in the standing electric field, it's, it moves from negative to positive. And like the said, moving electrons is what we call electricity. Uh, and that's how, we, that's how we do it. We have a website for tracking all our renewable energy projects at UVA. On this website, you can also find the additional resources on such, such as in you know, classes that are being offered at UVA in the research that's going on at UVA in the field of solar energy. Um, additionally, we have also made the sustainability plan available to the public on this website and all the actions UVA is taking uh, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprint.
As always, you can reach out to me or William if you have any additional questions. Thank you.